Hi, welcome to CPL. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a cut line or a trace line around a piece of clip art. Now, when you purchase your Solid machine, you will be able to download a free piece of software called Solid Studio. What I'm using here is the upgrade version called the Design Edition. These has extra features, as you can see on this side, um, but for the time being, we won't focus on that. Um, these icons are identical on the Solid Studio software and these are the ones we'll be using here. Now first we'll select your page according to which machine you are using. Uh, for example, I'm using an A3 machine, the Solid Cameo. I'll select A3. If I was cutting a longer piece of, let's say, vinyl, uh, I can change the height by changing these uh, digits here. Um, cutting mat, if you're cutting onto self-adhesive uh, media or t-shirt vinyl then you must not use a cutting mat so select none. If you're cutting onto a piece of paper or a piece of card then you must select cutting mat and then use a cutting suitable cutting mat. Okay. Uh, if you do place self-adhesive vinyl onto a cutting mat, uh, the chances are the blade will cut right through your uh, vinyl and the backing sheet, which you don't want, because all you want is a kiss cut and not cut die cut. Um, okay, so we've selected everything, so let's move on. Go to File and click Open. And let's say we want this image, click OK and we can drag this to anywhere on the work page. We can resize it by pulling these nodes here. Oops, let's go, yep, there you go. And now we need to create a trace line. Now that's very, very easy. You click onto this trace panel here and then click onto trace, select trace area. Once you click onto that and move your mouse over the work page, you will see this little cross appear. Make sure you left click outside the image area and then click and drag. Yeah. Uh, when you get this grey box, release the left click and then click onto trace. Now move your image out of the way. You can delete your image because the, your cutter will recognize this and not this. It'll cut the recognize the red lines uh, so and uh, not your uh, JPEG or bitmap image. So let's delete that and that is now ready for cutting. Now if you're cutting onto self-adhesive vinyl for example or t-shirt vinyl you'll find it useful to click onto this rectangular tool and click and drag so it covers it. Uh, this makes it easy for weeding. Uh, your solid machine will cut out the design and it will cut out a box around the design. So when you are weeding it's easier to peel off uh, the vinyl from one corner so diagonally and then you can peel off the bits and pieces you don't need. What I find useful is if you are uh, cutting uh, uh, t-shirt vinyl or self adhesive vinyl is to keep a sort of printout of the image by you so when you weed you're weeding at the correct areas and not the wrong areas if that makes sense. In the next video we will show you how to add text and uh, yeah and then perhaps one or two other features.